thank you dr hari for uh, the opportunity once again to lead this activity in chennai so just to sum up on uh, what we discussed last time uh, on january 13 there was a first uh, meeting of this forum uh, we discussed several aspects and particularly on non revenue water and uh, leakage losses and so on we had uh, mr ashok natrajan and uh, mr sunil kurian from mahindra world city ashok natrajan happens to be the former ceo of twic we had several uh, what do you say information exchanges through his association in the past and uh, in this last meeting also so what we wanted to do after that after a discussion was to do something on the ground as an action point so we uh, uh, had the opportunity to interact with uh, mr saravanan who happens to be the hydrogeologist in chennai and having long years of experience on hydrogeology lithology and so on so one action point that has come out of uh, the last meeting and uh, coming this meeting is that uh, mr Je professor janakarajan uh then uh, mr ashok natrajan and mr sarvanan all they have agreed upon uh leading a group or being a group of uh, members towards working on ground water and the linkages are the other way around in the sense the leakages the na uh, non revenue water reduction that is happening or non revenue water losses that are happening how they are related to ground water uh, in in fact uh, the the next step we have gone ahead to find out for the adyar river adyar river stretch that uh, probably starts from jafar khan bay to the uh, bay of bengal which it uh, falls down we are trying to find out how these aquifer uh, is uh, behaving because in the last several years floods have been the uh, very very big concern for this particular stretch adyar river any flood happens or any heavy rainfall happens then uh, adya river seems to be the only target for uh, letting out all that is coming out from uh, the several catchment areas that are a part of the chennai city so we are trying to find out how this action could be taken up across uh, adya river stretch using hydro geological information and uh, coupling with several other experts uh, who may be a part of this panel today or even the past several panels that we have been uh, uh, you know discussing so that that was one action point that we have started working on and hopefully uh, the work that uh, the rotarian uh, mr ajit nair whom we whom he ha happened to call us and talk to us on what he has been doing and all that is what we are trying to do in the next uh, uh, two weeks or next fortnight would be this action that we are going to come out with so with that i would uh, stop here saying that there has been an action in the last two weeks on the in the fortnight though there were you know the pongal holidays and so on republic day also coming in uh, so there has been traction traction on several action points that we had uh, discussed of course in between there was a, a you know lake restoration uh, uh, initiatives also that we were discussing through the tech talk series of course all are getting coupled in some way or the other we are trying to bring in many people who can interact and we don't want to as uh, dr harir is saying Uh, keep talking we are trying to bring out the actions that is possible actions means how they did it what are all the challenges they were uh, going through when they did something in terms of initiatives uh, i believe uh, mr ajit uh, we spoke on this uh, today and uh, uh, we request you to share some insights on how did you do something on the uh, rotarian as a rotarian uh, on several clubs and several establishments that you have uh, started initiating some measures towards our vision of 1000 crore liter saving so if that is uh, going to be our target then we'll have to uh, you know uh, coin our or stitch our efforts towards that so i'll stop here dr hari and i request uh, if you have any quick names so whom they want to share some insights right now they might you lead it you lead it okay okay maybe so, you want uh, to tell them about the seven solutions or i'll i'll get into that i'll get into that so so based on the previous action forum uh, the meeting that we had and so on we have just started uh, working on something called the seven solutions that might be of interest that might be of value to several of us in this uh, you know session and of course we'll have to put our efforts in this direction hope you are able to see my screen 
Yes. Solutions can happen only with the stakeholder participation. Without stakeholder participation, stakeholder involvement, stakeholder engagement this is not going to happen. And the thrust on a particular focus set of areas would be our uh, next set of actions that are going to come in this uh, several fortnights. We have uh, taken up one uh, fortnight now. We are uh, 24 uh, such meetings that are going to happen in the next uh, few months in this uh, calendar year. So towards that, if you see, these are some of the, uh, what do you say, stakeholders that we are getting into and the probable thrust areas that we are thinking of. It need not be in the same order that has been mentioned here, but still, uh, we might choose any one of this. Or if you have any uh, priorities to work on, several of this. In fact, uh, Mr. Ajit Nair, uh, we were speaking in the morning that how do we really enthuse school kids? I, I believe we have done a work on this all, uh, earlier with several educational institutions in the city of Chennai, particularly the corporation schools. I think you will be talking about it more in detail. But this is one area which is going to catch a lot of traction uh, in the form of actions, I would say, not only talking and doing things like that. I think you will be sharing more on uh, how this can be done across several schools and several educational institutions in the, the coming few weeks and uh, months to come. This is something that we have in store that we will have to go across all the seven sort of, uh, you know, engagements, seven sort of, uh, what do you say, uh, the uh, actions that we can think of. Probably some schools are doing good. We'll, you know, commend them or recognize them with some awards with the WOW Action Forums. It need not be schools alone. It can be any other institution for that matter. Uh, like what we discussed last time, target solution providers. If you have any specific solutions, I think Prakash Murthy is also there with this call, who is a, a Neopal uh, supplier. We, we have been getting some good uh, results from these kinds of aerators that we have been using. So we will try and find out who are all the large aerator users and what have been their uh, uh, savings in the past on uh, you know utilization. I think Mr. Ajit Nai, you will also be uh, sharing something on aerators. Of course, uh, let's see how that has to be replicated across uh, many. So that's this engagement process that we are going to take up. The, the seven stake, it need not be seven alone. It can be more. Uh, seven, this is called seven steps that we are thinking of. It is a tech talk series on one side. We have a water, uh, you know, uh, wow action forum now that is happening. We'll be also, if, uh, you know, everything goes well, we'll get into something called the target apartments for conducting a lot of uh, studies. When, when you have some very uh, simple action point, like put up an aerator, you will get the savings. How do we do that? Do we have uh, the RWAs in place wherein we can go and touch base with them on doing such a survey. Survey, as Dr. Aryan uh, keeps saying, it need not be done by professionals alone. Any uh, intern can go and do that. Any uh, you know passionate person can go and get some information on what is that water all about and all in these kind of apartments. How do we really save water? What, are, what is the vision that we follow, 1,000 crore liters and more? How do we do that? So these are some of the ideas that we have in uh, store uh, right now. We can even think about more more ideas in this uh, angle. So all this action forum, uh, all the discussion that we are going to happen, uh, that we are going to do now is something towards this. If you have any specific uh, you know, thoughts on this, you can also share it right now. Any of you? Dr. Haryan, you have any thoughts on this? Any quick thoughts? I think Mr. Rao has uh, raised his hand, Mr. U. K. Rao. Krishna, you want to speak, U. V. Yeah, yeah, for a minute, yes. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. Hi, and delighted to be here. Um, when talking about uh, targeting the schools, one thing occurs to me in Chennai. Okay. Stella Maris College offers a course on sustainability. Oh, okay. Uh, New College uh, Miyasi they uh, offer a course on architecture. And there are a couple of uh, schools of architecture, uh, colleges of architecture in Chennai. Uh, perhaps to engage them would be, uh, would be worthwhile. I had personal experience as far as Telemaris College is concerned. They give a lot of importance for uh, 
environmental improvements water is one of them if you enter the campus you could find right at the beginning you know they give a lot of importance for uh, water if there is a need i can uh, put in a word to them uh, to be part of the o forum and they can be uh, people who can share their experiences and also help you know uh, you know propagate amongst the schools and colleges this yeah. is what i want yes sir vivek rao uh, fortunately you mentioned stella marys college uh, iccw is working with stella marys college on several activities oh, all right okay got it uh, one and a half years now and uh, brown water quality monitoring is one activity which we have uh, done with them yeah uh, the state data center the tamil nadu state data center which is in taramani we have worked uh, along with them with the support of them on um, identifying around 100 locations in the city of chennai towards groundwater quality monitoring i think we have some things happening in the website also you may refer that i'll send that to you the idea of, uh, that you mooted is that stella marys college and others are very forthcoming in uh, like uh, dr harin was mentioning on net water zero institutions so we will uh, probably you know uh, come back to you on uh, how to really approach these education institutions towards this concept of uh, net water zero uh, concepts wherein all these that we are going to discuss on action forums could be implemented uh, with lots of efforts from students and the staff of uh, the colleges Uh, uh, Prem Prem wants to speak. Prem Panchami, and after that, Usha Kini can tell us how she has handled schools and institutions in Bangalore. Oh, Prem. Oh yeah, hi. Uh, yeah, so a couple of thoughts as I was looking at the this slide. Um, first, first one is about targeting school kids. Um, I would recommend that you target emerging adults. Um, this is the fifteen to twenty-five age group. right the reason i am saying that is um kids don't tend to have a whole lot of autonomy school kids uh they tend to have to listen to their parents or whatever they don't have that much of a say it'll turn out to be something that they do uh, at school and not really take back an actionable into the family right so what we want is a way into the family where the family actually changes so you're looking for that entry into that through the door right so an emerging adult that 15 to 25 could be inspired to take this action back home talk to their parents or something like that right so they there can be a connect there so i would i would really um have you think about targeting that group um it could be colleges um, but the age group is from the 15 to 25 so that's my first point um second is in all of this right so across the board from 1 through 7 um i would recommend um uh, strongly thinking about what outcomes you're trying to achieve right so the so the so if you think about the survey right so the target apartments if you mm. think about the survey is the outcome that they would have taken the survey and we automatically expect them to um be inspired and take some action out of it that is actually unrealistic right so it's only a means to some end let's 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 think about what that end is um the end is really for them to actually achieve water savings or water management or water conservation right whatever that might be yeah so um so when you think about uh, each of these this is great to as a starting point i'm not i'm not dissing any of this right yeah. so don't get me wrong uh, it's a great starting point but think about what the outcomes is the other side of that same coin is who is your target audience right so mm-hmm. when you talk about a survey um uh, let's think of a survey right so we let's say we put together with the best of our minds all the experts inputs let's say we come up with a 100 question survey mm. right no one's going to take it yeah you got an rwa member you have to find that one in a rare case who is going to be inspired enough motivated enough to take that 100 question survey and go to something with it, right already you have you've raised the threshold high for them to take take some action right what i would do is think targets specific target audiences and then create a survey or a questionnaire or an interview uh, where where they become the center of attention mm. right they don't want us to come and say here's what you should be doing right we should really be the advisor sitting next to them and giving them the hot seat the the really put the spotlight on them right yeah. let so so think target audiences 
what can you make a conversation with them about that involves them, that makes them the center of um, uh, the attention or the responsibility, and then make it concise, make it, make it uh, specific. Then when you combine that with the outcome-based thinking, I think you'll start to see some momentum. I think they should be our brand ambassadors or uh, we build capacities in them to right. take it forward. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Brand ambassadors is a very good way to start thinking about this, right? Uh, let's say somebody has done this in some apartment yeah. and they have been successful. Bring them on board. Part of the reward is to actually put them on a, on a seat and say, hey, somebody like you has done this. Let's hear from them. And you step back. True. And then... At the end of such a call, such a, such a meeting, you could say there's a very simple questionnaire that you can answer. There's only five questions. Uh, it'll actually take us to the next level of the conversation, something like that, right? So, so then the action leads to the next action. And then from that action, you can take it to the next action and so on. So give some thought towards target audiences, outcomes. Um, and one of the specific points that I made about the target audience is the emerging adults instead of the school kids. Um, that has a lasting value that lets the Got lets us Got get into the into okay. the door. Into uh, the now, if we take that, all the three champion Rotarians here, you have interactors, you have Rotaractors. How can you give us, let us say, give our Sripati, how can you give, uh, let's say, maybe 10 of them to start with, because we need to understand whether he can manage that and is there a team that he has to create, because one man cannot do all, any of these things. So he will have to create one action group probably. And we will ask Usha Kini her own experience uh, between her and Suresh Pai of uh, how they did in Bangalore. So my point to you all, the three of you is, are there any ideas that come from what uh, Prem Panchami is saying of brand ambassadors? That is, the road actors become water ambassadors or whatever, you know? Any ideas like that, please? I'm sure you've already done something. You can share your experience from Rotary. Yes, yes, Joseph Matthew. You have to unmute. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm, I'm taking a slightly different track. Uh, this is uh, something that you said right now. That I, I know so many people who have done you know, bits and pieces here and there on this whole concept. And uh, uh, I don't want to sound um, you know, negative at all. <laughs> but uh, I think in this forum itself, there will be, and you can bring in one or two more people and who have done enough, some groundwork, at least in some locality, not across the country, it's not well organized. Yes. I think part of the issue is that uh, even the government, for example, Tamil Nadu government, they've done something about like rainwater harvesting, aquifers, yes. some studies are there. Uh, somebody talked about the Adair River. Uh, until recently, I was the director of a company called Eco Services, which did uh, part of the uh, survey on the Adair estuary, which they, you know, uh, read on it. And in fact, the voice is breaking. Uh, it helped a lot in flood mitigation. But uh, the simple point I'm trying to make is I think somebody should collect the work already done and then see how to move it forward. Uh, while, of course, the brand ambassador thing, all that will. Definitely be a great help. Point taken. Point taken. Uh, actually, uh, well, it might seem to you like we are jumping a few uh, carts before horses. Uh, it's Actually, there is a logic to this. You are not there in the earlier meetings and there is a certain uh, trajectory that we have been seeking to evolve. But your point is completely and fully taken that we must look at other things. Any, uh, Prasad or... Uh, Ajit, yeah. you want See, to what, yes. what I can... Uh... Uh, say is, uh, you said uh, 10 road tractors, then um, Ajit knows it very well. Uh, a club can take this job. One of the clubs who has under them. So once they are, uh, you know, like uh, impressed with this project, once they can take this for a few apartments around them, then we can, we can draw a, you know, like picture and give it to other apartments. And of course, we have uh, even road tractors, we have NSS students yeah. and use also them. But road tractors, as I said, as a 10, that's for a club, you can do it. That's what I feel. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, let me come to Usha Kini. See, Usha, one is, Prasad is saying, you want 10 people, I'll give you. But at the same time, Prem is saying, excuse me, what is it that you want to do? 
it has whatever you want to do has to be impactful he says therefore he says even if you did a survey 10 questions or 100 doesn't matter what do you want from that as an outcome and then he from there he moved to brand ambassadors or whatever you want to call them that is people who are so uh, bitten by the vision and the bug of sustainability or of water or whatever that they will take it to other children to whatever if i were to take his emerging adults you know what you tried to do uh, and succeeded in with some uh, modest whatever achievements usha where do you pick up the story and then we'll ask suresh bhai um i would say that any of these uh, needs action action on the ground level so uh, for me what attracted me and what continues to attract me is the formation of action groups so that each, each group is very focused and working in uh, with one segment of water users or with one specific uh, uh, purpose in mind so we we need the team we need, sorry some we need that uh, uh, engagement from citizens uh, who come forward so the whole we, we are not putting all our eggs in one basket in that way we have several action groups and we have a uh, sub targets of the uh, main target so i, I think uh, the simplicity of the solutions as you called it has to reach out to each and every segment and the best way is for uh, us to go ahead with the formation of action groups i think this is one of the first few ideas that came to our mind when we started talking about uh, uh, the wow movement way back in december uh, 2019 see you heard uh, our ue krishna saying sara meris immediately uh, sripati said well icwp has been doing work with them then you saw our uh, chandra of uh, watson he is saying that there is this uh, atal tinkering lab or whatever he says she must do Uh, what, uh, why don't you speak, Chandra? You are saying you agree with her. Please speak because I know you speak well on these concerns. Sir, uh, Atal Tinkering Lab is a voluntary uh, movement where uh, people like us go and uh, apply for the Atal Tinkering Mentor. Mm -hmm. We select; they give us uh, specific schools. So I chose two schools, which are one side the Marwadi children in Paris who are selling the merchants children studying in a matriculation school, high ed. Other said the workers who are working there, they have a nearby government school where those children have a different view viewpoint and different thing on economical concept and stuff like that. So I'm going to do the balance to teach these children and teach this I see a, a wave of opportunities for us to explain them something other than out of the box, other than the syllabus. It's a great platform where almost thirty thousand teachers across the country who are volunteering like us. We spend our time, money, everything. Not even a single penny is paid by the government, but this is a great moment. to incite children to educate them on water and water issues so as uh, right uh, sha madam said we have small schedules made how to conserve water how stps are functioning or even to educate them on the basics because if they go on straight away say stp people may not understand yeah yeah how all how all waters are being wasted i think somebody should sit down write on small booklets for these children maybe one step ahead we can uh, convert into vernacular languages that booklets could be distributed maybe a e distribution or something then first educate them on the water and then start educating them on the improvement of saving water or uh, conserving water or what not so the basic education people don't know much on that if you ask any school children even plus two children they may not know why water is going out of my flush it is going they don't know where it is ending up or water i am bringing my uh, water can fellow brings me a can water i am okay with that so they understand they don't understand what is the stress point okay, okay. I yeah. think that has to be done Chandra, basically. Mr. Chandrasekhar, yeah. what I was yeah. trying to yeah. say is that yeah. we need citizens to own these responsibility yeah. to yeah. take up this. Hmm. So, so that is very important. You know, we we need a, a very specific groups who who will say yes. I am going to work in the school uh, yeah. uh, segment. I am going to work with apartments. I am going to work with commercials. Whatever. So. Yeah. That focus has to be there, and that ownership, that ownership of responsibility, is the. Engagement on part of the citizens is what drives this movement. So in that sense, I would take uh, this, uh, educating the school children with simpler books or simpler literature. I will take responsibility. I'll okay. collaborate with the adult tinkering lab people. I'll ask those teachers also if somebody could write a nice literature. Somebody do some illustration. Let us do some e-books. Then start propagating that first as a point. Be it Chennai, be it Bangalore, it doesn't matter. Any place we need to do this first so that children can understand what is the real water stress today. Uh, before usha responds to that prem what do you think about it if let us say something like that is brought out in kannada tamil and english 
Now, sir, the advantage is if I go through adult tinkering lab, uh, I have teachers across the country who are almost 30,000 teachers. Oh, yes. Sir. Out of which every state, one teacher may come forward and say, okay, Chandra, I'll translate this literature in Oriya. Yeah. Yeah. I'll translate in Malayalam. Easily, I can get all the languages uh, yeah, in I, one I, go. I, I, I'll tell you where Usha is coming from, uh, Chandra. Not only for you, for all the leaders here, it's about 30 minutes so far now, 28 minutes. I'll say, what effectively we are looking at. See, there are so many organizations doing all this wonderful, inspiring work on sustainability. What is the difference we want to make? We must be able to tell the government or some fellow in the government suddenly wakes up and says, I say, who are these people here who have done 1000 crore liters of saving or 500 crore or 800 crore or whatever that is. The day the government wakes up and says that somebody has done a substantial saving without us being there, without the government being there, is the day citizens will be respected. That is the central purpose of all, as a world of water, as an action forum. Ushad, am I making sense in what I am saying? Sir, what uh, in that context, I will also reply you, sir. Yes, yes sir, Suppose I take Chennai, I have adult tinkering lab teachers, at least 12 or 13 people in Chennai. Uh -huh. First, I'll put this idea to these 13 teachers and say in Chennai, the schools whom you are attending, can we make it zero water wastage uh, school? Correct. Then ah, those children, makes, some is, children will become the local champion who will be uh, trained by us and they will start propagating to every classroom, every parent or anybody. And then by the year end, I will come to know whether these schools have at least have achieved. In fact, so that Sandra, is a good number. Have, then we can if you have some others. five, ten schools like that, yeah. if you say, no, we, there are poor schools, let us say, yes, sir. not the rich schools. Yes, sir. And if you say, I say for doing rainwater harvest, so much money is needed yeah. or some X and Y, yeah. we will find the money for you. No, even to educate the school that they need not waste water and just running an RO plant or wasting their sleep, just educate them is more important. I think my job is half done because I know these subtle tinkering lab teachers because I am part of it. It makes my job easy. I just have to put a nice paper, some presentation I have to do that these are all the issues we can talk in the next yeah. session sure. and educate the children. Yeah, I've yeah, made some notes. I will talk to you offline with the uh, sleeper. Thank you, Mr. Now, uh, may you know, request Ajit Nair to ah. share a perspective yeah. on sure. what I wanted to know from him on uh, his initiative that he has been uh, spearheading from the Rotary ah. side. Lovely. Uh, so that uh, we'll get some quick insights on what all we can think of, uh, somebody said, on creation of action groups mm -hmm if that can be created within the city of Chennai. Over to you, uh, Mr. Ajit, for your insights. Sure. You're presenting something or you're, you're going to talk? I will make a presentation. Oh, as well. lovely. A picture may, you know, paints uh, uh, words. You're able to share the, the screen? Let me just check here. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, share some. Sir, excuse me, sir. Yeah. Who is this? Yes, please. Uh, Hari sir. Yes, Nilesh, tell me. You want to speak? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah I was, yeah, I was uh, sorry for interrupting uh, the speaker next. Uh, I have I, actually the, the, you are, the quantity you are saying that uh, so uh, 5,000 and some crores of, uh, uh, you know, liters of uh, water you want to save. Uh, that is the only basic things what we have uh, that you know very well, the idea of, and we are very much, uh, you know, eager and very much uneasy to start installing that uh, uh, method of using water right from the schools so if we uh, get the support then we are very much uh, eager to uh, yes. give the, and that will give you the quantifying that is the exact uh, uh, more uh, reliable data from the school that uh, after installing we will, we will come method, back uh, method the, the the water is saved uh, so and so right we'll get the number of uh, Nilesh, we will come back definitely we'll sir, now sir. listen to mr ajit sir, yes. sir, sure. yes. sorry sir. Yes. Thank you, Hari. Thank you, uh, Tripathi, for this invitation. It's wonderful to be here today amongst a group of professionals who are all like-minded and share this, this passion that we've been having for quite a while. Business no longer impressed me. This is what is uh, occupying uh, a lot of our time and attention more because of uh, our uh, 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 single-minded you know, devotion. Absolutely. After my heart. Yes, exactly. Business is boring, you're right. Business is boring. How much <laughs> do you keep making or how, do you, how long do you keep doing the same things? So water means everything. We have uh, two mascots here, Hydro Boy and Hydro Girl, who will also walk through this presentation with us. Uh, you know, Chennai is in a very quixotic, a very, very ironical, a strange place right now. More because uh, November 6th, what happened? We got battered by hell a lot of rainfall. And then continue through November, December, and even Jan. 
just to put things in a little perspective, November 6th alone had 450 mm of rainfall. Now that's the amount of rainfall which comes in uh, entire November, which is the rainiest month in Chennai. I'm sure you all know this little basic data that Chennai has got about on an average, if you take the statistics over the last several years, which data is available, you get, we get about 1400 mm of rainfall, but this is spread over 60, 65 days in Chennai, rainy days in Chennai. It's a lot more than Bangalore. It's more than many other cities in India. It's more than London. It's more than Paris too. But some of these cities, it's over a larger time span. Uh, opinion is divided. Some say hardly 1%, 2%, maybe 5%. It's definitely less than 10% of this rainfall that is captured, that's harvested, that's harnessed, or that is utilized. Where is the rest of it going? Into Kuwam, into Buckingham Canal, into the Dam Sea. But it is not available for us. Otherwise, 1400 mm of rainfall is a lot. So what is it that we can do to help the situation, uh, well, there's a lot of people doing good work on lake restoration, tank rest, watershed development like that, check dams, the works. I'll steer completely away from it, leave it to the professionals who are doing the, uh, that kind of work and focus on saving water. Then the drought is the future. Just because Chennai has got a lot of water, because of these incident rain, we might have a, a good 2022, copious amount of water available. But the reality is the future is drought. I'm uh, sorry to, to profess these, you know, it's not a prophecy of doom, but the future is drought. We all forget what happened two and a half years ago. June 2019, we had zero day where Chennai was bone dry. Schools, offices, establishments, hotels closed down. Truckloads of water had to be ferried in from outside and there were like serpentine queues to get one pot of water. That's it. Why did it happen? because of deficit rainfall in 2017 and 2018. Why I initially I started off saying quixotic, ironic, it's worse than that really, because whenever there's a disaster and there's a catastrophe, a depression in the bay or, 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 or a cyclone, that is when Chennai gets copious water. The normal Northeast monsoon, which is what Chennai gets, is not enough water for Chennai and there will be a drought and that Gentlemen, is the, ladies and gentlemen, is the future. We have to be prepared for drought. I'm going to again steer completely away from flood, inundation. It rains 60 days in Chennai. It floods for five days. Let's concentrate on 360 out of 365 rather than speaking about that five days and how the city, city is flooded. Yes, of course, it causes havoc. The five days causes damage for a hell of a long time. The people who live on the banks who are affected. Let's just leave that alone and work on what is it that we can do? Because the first thing that happens is health. Spurious water causes health bone diseases. Food, no water, no food. Economy goes for a toss. And education, India is a youth-centric population. And if they're not educated, the future, my dear friends, is bleak. Now, Rotary does a lot of service projects. And this year, what happened, strangely, the district governor requested me to head this water mission as a focus area for Rotary. And what we're doing is creating awareness. It's a long-term plan. It's not going to happen this year. It's just a couple of months we, we started. But we've put together various options. What is it that we can do to move forward with judicious water management solutions under various headings, uh, which let's, let's dive deep into. The whole topic today is seven solutions, seven touch points. So let's just highlight these, uh, these solutions. First up is an awareness poster. Now, this is a simple poster. Actually, it was first done by, by IPA, which we developed, we modified, we changed, we've got school kids, the alpha school kids were involved in this exercise. And we kind of fine tuned it to have 16 simple steps of how to save water. You know it, I know it, we all know it, but do we follow this? We don't, sadly. It tells you simple things like, don't water your plant middle of the day when the sun is scorching hot and the water will evaporate. Do it early morning, do it in the evening. Don't keep your tap running when you're brushing your teeth. Simple, simple things. But if, so these posters, if they're put up wherever there are eyeballs, where there's high visibility and, and lift lobbies and bulletin boards and notice boards in schools and show windows, then if somebody catches on to this and does one, two, three, five, seven of these, each one of these can lead to 10, 20, 30 liters per day. And you're talking about crores of liters of water, which can it's just a recall value. It's about impact. It's about a public service message. 
this is an extrapolation of the old idea where we went to chennai cooperation now the current chief minister is very seized with singar chennai beautifying the chennai walls so when we said listen put up these public service messages they welcomed it saying come take all our government buildings and paint it up and you are doing not only beautifying our walls you are putting up a public service message the idea is to actually take each one of these 16 blow it up into large panels take a 100 150 feet wall of a public health center a government school or any of the government buildings where they give us and paint those city walls every cyclist every pedestrian every biker guy in the car guy in the ptc bus is passing by and seeing it day recall value impact he sees it day in and day out and hopefully carries it forward to his home to his office and starts implementing this on a day in day out basis so that's about awareness aerators now this is my pet subject where we've had a lot of success and i sincerely believe this is one of the key one of your seven touch points which we should concentrate on because it's simple it's easy it's effective uh let to give you a little background and put things in perspective adam <coughs> uh to put things in a little perspective there is no regulation for taps in india the best of the best makes are available here you talk about grohe and uh, american standard and toto it's an unregulated market and these guys the these world leaders make these taps in far east and uh, in in the rest of asia in thailand and taiwan and china and give us full bore taps just because there is no government regulation on it If you Google Water Sense, Water Sense is the government uh, regulation in the United States. No tap can be sold in U.S. in Europe without the DIN standards. If you don't follow those regulations, and that regulation says a basin should only give out one GPM. One GPM is three point seven five liters. My own basin, which where I, before I fitted the aerator, uh, had fourteen liters per minute. I would request each one of you present here after the session is over to just kindly go to your basin. open your tap measure the amount of water per liter i wear a hat off and i'm not wearing it now i'll take the hat off if you tell me no 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 i've got 3.75 liters if you've got 5 liters you're saving let me tell you it's between 10 and 15 liters per minute from these open bore taps so you're saving something like 5 to 10 liters for every minute usage now you multiply that by the number of minutes a tap is used a sink is often used for 1 to 2 hours because that's where breakfast lunch dinner cooking vessels utensils washing up Now, if you save ten liters per minute into ninety minutes, that's nine hundred liters. Now, the number of aerators. I'll show you a case study. Okay, what we've done is tied up with Neo Pearl, where we've got preferential price. These are not discounted costing that I'm displaying here on the screen. This is a CSR cost from Neo Pearl because it's totally you're doing good work. You're doing water conservation. Here are very special pricing. What is Harit uh, Prakash will uh, will vouch for this? What he sells in the market an MRP of one twenty. as rotary because we are doing water conservation we can offer a wash basin tap for 37 aerator for 37 and a sink tap for now this what you see on the screen this plastic it's actually engineering plastic like delrin goes into the spout where there is a threaded inlet you just take it out many people think there's a aerator there it's not it's a sediment filter mud filter take out the mud filter put in the aerator as simple as that i'll show you a little video which is a case study so this is for the modern taps for the old taps you have these metal aerators this is actually brass chrome plated or for the showers for example you take out the shower fit it before the shower or the old fashioned taps you fit it before the tap same result 4 liters per minute 6 liters per minute no longer spitting out 15 16 itc hotel i showed it to the general manager 18 liters per minute from a shower and he was aghast he was shocked so these are these solutions are available and people are buying water they can reduce their water footprint immensely The, okay ah now this is uh where probably is uh, mr ajit uh, we'll take some questions um since want me to stop here okay i would uh, suggest let, let us take some questions i'll pause here yeah or uh, the two solutions that we have already put forth uh, among uh, seven that we are trying to bring up any yes. thoughts from uh, the uh, people around here any any thoughts on uh, whether this is going to be possible or not or yes yes I'm, yes i'm 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 suresh pai here yes please. uh see this water aerators uh, we tried in our apartment and the saving from 44000 per day we used to consume it has come down to 38000 so this is the best example of how water can be saved because aerators we have been practicing for the last 4 uh, years 2018 around we started in bangalore so this is a quite uh, good initiative to save the water maybe 
this is not very popular in Chennai. I think we need to popularize this uh, concept in Chennai. So saving of minimum 15% to 20% is guaranteed. So Mr. Ajit, uh, what, are Rish, what we did is we actually brought in 10,000 aerators and that disappeared. Then we got in a second consignment. We're now getting a third consignment. It's like a concept selling where people say, oh yeah, let's do this. I see. Uh, uh, case study after this uh, uh, CSR money, CSR money that we are trying to pull in and uh, do the initiative. But do you have uh, any uh, sort of a mechanism that we can think of? This is not only to uh, Mr. Ajit, but also Mr. Suresh and uh, Ms. Ushakini also on uh, how this could be done as a popular item. And, uh, you know, somebody, uh, you know, in a residential apartment, why should I spend? I'm already spending 1500 per uh, maintenance per month. Uh, this is again going to add to my cost. How do I really break this chain or break this kind of uh, uh, intention that uh, this is going to be cost uh, costing more? Why should I do this? Why should I do that? There is no incentive for me. How do I do Can I this? play the small clip which will answer your question? Yeah. yeah. A beautiful case study. It's about uh, ozone, which is uh, we're talking about. This case study is. About Hi. Let's see how much water. Okay. Let's walk through this. Yeah. Then I'll show you the final slide. This is a beaker without an aerator that she's measuring. Ozone has got 60 apartments into 10 towers. 600 apartments. Let me show you how to change the filter. There's a sediment filter which will pop out and put in a aerator. It goes back into the tap. She'll measure again in a separate beaker after aerator. So there's a before and after, which is what I was requesting all of you to do to get the impact uh, measurement. Five seconds again. You can see the level of water in the two beakers before and after. Now, look at this last slide. This gives you a true answer to your question. By 65 liters per day, 12 crore liters of water saved in one apartment complex. 5,000 tankers, they, are, they buy water. 5,000 tankers, they buy. And that's 2,000 rupees per tanker. Goes up to 5,000 rupees when there is drought per tanker. Now, what they're spending, their, their per capita cost on maintenance comes down drastically by just this one move. It looks good. Complex. If you were tackle course, hundreds uh, of apartment complex, where are we going? A thousand crores? Uh, no, my question is, how do we crack this uh, notion that, no, no, this is not for me. I cannot do this. Uh, you give me something, I'll do something, then let me think about this. That's where everywhere uh, stops. Everybody stops there. On uh, You give me something, I'll do it. So how do no, we... What, what do my suggestion is, course? generally, in the annual general meetings, which very rarely people attend. So yeah. generally the decision taken in the annual general meetings of the association is binding on everyone. So even at least 25 to 30% of the people attend the annual general meetings. Yeah. And if the decision is taken, say for example, it need not be very costly, say 1,500 or 2,000 rupees. You start with some two or three aerators, one in the kitchen, one in the tap. It may cost hardly 300 rupees or 400 rupees. Once yeah. this is popularized, then they come to know about the savings. I think uh, this should be applied to all the apartments in Chennai. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Ram Shankar, are you there uh, listening? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. yeah. Good to see you, Ajit. Yeah, your thoughts on this? Uh, yeah, in fact, uh, Ajit and I, we have worked on uh, a few rainwater harvesting projects. So uh, glad to see him here make this presentation. My question is uh, actually, I would like to implement this in the, the rain center. So. If we can uh, certainly yeah. get to know who really, you know, how many, because I, I think I remember seeing some aerators in some water expos and all that, but the assistance to actually go ahead and implement it in a apartment or a house, if there is somebody who can provide that service, then please uh, share that. No, really, sure. mm -hmm. okay. really impressive. Yeah. See, I would like to come in here. Uh, Dr. No, uh, Prasad, just one minute, Prasad, if you yeah. mind. I'm sure, uh, see, between you, Mr. Raghavan and others, you have done many buildings, right? But you have done the rainwater part. Supposing we asked you, well, you have got a portfolio, shall we say, I'll call it a portfolio if you don't mind, of let's say 200 buildings. You know? How can you go back to these buildings and say, well, you know us, we are rain center. You have respected us for what we have offered you in the past. 
So what happens? You already have social capital or some capital you have with them already. Confidence is there. And then you tell them about the about the aerators and such things and get those buildings to take beyond what they have taken as rainwater harvest or whatever from you all as solutions. Is that a possibility? Yeah, absolutely, sir. Absolutely, Mr. Hariharan. Because many of them, you know, in addition to uh, rainwater harvesting, they ask us uh, for our advice and guidance on grey water harvesting and black water also. And But then we tell them first, do the rainwater harvesting and then they obviously, you know, they are able to take our uh, recommendations. So the next step is to tell them, you know, why, why don't you implement aerators? So for that, uh, you know, if I can uh, do a set of these at the rain center also. So in case they come and have a look at what we've done at the rain center, then that's a further motivation or an incentive for them to try and do this. So certainly we need to leverage the social capital, as you mentioned. Uh, I can make an observation. I'm sorry, Nandu Kumar. Can I make an observation here? Yeah, yeah please, please. Okay, uh, one challenge I found in Chennai is that uh, I'm staying in an apartment where there are 256 flats and I've been trying to, in fact, we did bring in uh, these uh, Neopol, um, you know, aerators and it was promoted very actively by the then secretary three years ago. But there was no, um, shall I say, incentive. Incentive meaning there's no monetary saving because nobody pays for water here. And that is uh, one major demotivator for any any kind of uh, initiative and water management. So this probably is true for a large part of Chennai, other than OMR and other places where the metro water doesn't reach and people are paying for water. So one area could be where there is consumption of water per meter, uh, per liter, and there is a charge for that, which it, certainly it makes a lot of sense to, uh, you know, in, for them to invest in these aerators. But other areas like in the heart of Chennai, I'm just thinking aloud, what is the way to make people, because it will be a noble cause. It's, it's it's more than monetary saving. It's just that they want to feel proud or uh, contribute to sustainability. So is there some kind of a, you know, a campaign we can create and uh, make people want to do this? I think there is a bottleneck there. It's just, this is my thinking. Even if we have an AGM and if we put this up, um, one is, we said the people should pay. That is, the flat owner should pay. Uh, if, if that is also given free by the association, then there is no incentive for them to use it. And what is the, They don't get any credit for saving water. They don't even know how much they are saving because there is no metering. So at the end of the day, it just fizzles out, saying, okay, I am having some difficulty in... Um, you know, maintaining these aerators or I'm not getting the flow that I wanted. So it fizzles out. So that's some challenge I'm thinking is, is there in Chennai, which may not be there in Bangalore or other cities. I don't know if other people can echo this thought. What you're saying is, is quite true, but it's a behavioral aspect change. And today there is a bit of awareness. And like I said, when there's a drought, that is when the awareness will increase because mind is occupied by what you see in front of you right now. It's floods, there's water, 22 will be a good year. But there is a change and people are more receptive. It will take time. Will have you, do you have any re uh, references where people yeah. have changed uh, just for this reason? Yes. That, uh, okay. okay. So that we would need to promote that. Yeah. A classic example is uh, last week's meeting with GT Chola 140 apartments where the association <laughs> guys, when I sat with them, they said, listen, I don't, it is not going to work with you talking to every apartment owner, neither we are going to talk to the apartment owner. We are going to buy as an association and give it to every single apartment and send our plumber out to make sure that it is installed because we buy water and it's cost. You see the, what you just said earlier, incentive. Yes, that's very true. But even those who don't, uh, another association is tasked where they said they will do it. They've circulated in there. They've not taken this call of saying the association will buy. So it's yes, yeah, chasing individual is not going to be easy. It will take time, but it is a slow process. Let's not look at um, instant gratification. Let's take granted it'll take time and just keep spreading. The, the 20,000 aerators that Rotary has done is just in a couple of months. So if we can do 50,000 aerators at five liters into 15 minutes per, uh, you're talking about a few crores of liters, 25 crores of uh, water saved right there. It's a slow process. I agree. I totally agree that there will be a mind block. There will be reluctance. There will be resistance. How to break that? Let's keep trying to evolve and adopt and adopt. You know? and an, another, another suggestion I would like to make, because most of the houses, these vessels are cleaned by the maids. 
So what happens if you install the aerators up to three months, you find the aerators are removed by the maids. So that is why in our apartment, we first educated the maids. And once they find the benefits and uh, the resultant uh, saving is the water. So I think uh, maids are to be educated and they have to get the benefit of saving the water. No, uh, I think this, the this story concept is, of uh, uh, aerator is uh, certainly Suresh, The story is this. See, in your apartment, if you manage to, Suresh Bhai, if yeah. you manage to get the all of you to be on one page, what did you do? Where is that miracle? Who was this Jesus Christ who came and showed you the land of milk and honey of Moses? No, no, actually in 2017. Okay, this is one. This is one. See how, see how Ajit Nair is representing. He is saying that we told the apartment to buy and fix it. That means, and I can tell you Ajit, for every one apartment of that kind, like our Nandkuma was saying, there will be 10 apartments where the managing committee is the villain of the piece. They are saying, what is this? Who are you to come and tell me some editors? I am a great expert. I know what I need to do for my apartment. So the managing committee is the problem everywhere. In Suresh Bhai's case, they had an enlightened managing committee. In the one that you are talking about, again, there was one. But look at what Sripati raised. Very matter of fact, he is. He is being very realistic. He is saying, all this is fine. But tell me how I go and sell the idea to somebody, he says. Your film is powerful. Five seconds. You know what you have done by taking a 10-year-old or a 12-year-old? You have, Without saying it, you are saying fixing an aerator is so easy. That is the worst challenge in people's minds. They all think, what is this complicated aerator? I don't know how to fix these technologies. I need a plumber who has to be paid 500 rupees. So you have done, you, your message is very powerful. That's the reason why we had this kid doing it. Obviously, obviously. Uh, you have some more to show, I think. Uh, a Prasad, bit more, yeah. I can run you, through the rest of it. Prasad, I, I stopped you. Uh, my apologies. Oh, yeah, Prasad wanted to say something. Yes, yes. <laughs> BK Prasad, you want to speak? Yeah, this is where uh, Hariharan, I said uh, we should talk with BWSSC Bangalore, go to them, and then attack. Because when they make it a rule, they're raters. It'll be very, like, I don't know, in Chennai, it's twag boat. Uh, so if they make it a rule, so. Sure. Yeah, we we'll do that. There are things to be discussed. We, you and I will take a call. Tomorrow then a second Friday. thing, second thing, a very, very heartening thing is uh, IPA has been uh, inducted into this uh, uh, Atal mission. We are one of the, you know, in the, into the policy making decision, the TAPs, this, you know, we got a meeting with all the TAP manufacturers on 14th of February, yeah. along with the Secretary Tara of Urban Water Mission. Yeah. And all this is coming into the picture where, the, you know, all the major manufacturers or taps are coming in where the flow is going to be reduced straight away. Correct. In so, fact, uh, uh, you know, you're talking about grow hay and water sense. And everybody. All that. Two weeks ago, we had a meeting, you know, yes. uh, it was an online meeting, whatever. IPA was leading it. And clearly the government of India is saying now, the Ministry of Water Resources is saying that they will stop the manufacture of anything under 6 LPM. There you yes, go. yes. As far as uh, faucets go, for showers, they are saying 9 LPM. 8, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. 4, 6, 8 uh, 8.75, 8.75. Right, right. And uh, for right. the uh, distinct, for your dual flush tanks, they have accepted 3 and 6, not 3 and 6. Yes. That's right. That's right. This is so accepted. We, Nothing can be produced. It's a brilliant point, Prasad. When I, yeah. I don't want to take names here, but one of the MDs of one of the, you know, the most popular uh, brands in India, tap manufacturer, when I told him, why isn't this a goddamn OE supply? And he says, and it's a government regulation, I'll, bring it, I'll do it. I, I don't know, Gosh, we are talking to Mr. Somani also, he was there this afternoon. <laughs> don't worry, we, you can take names, I don't have a problem, we all know each other, right? Nay, nay, anyhow, the meeting is on 14th with all the manufacturers. Great. Sure. No, no. Back to you. Back to you, Ajit. You wanted to show us something. Thank you. Okay, just a couple of more slides. I mean, part of the seven impacts. Now, this is where we're working with Ram and with Shekhar Agwen. There are partners in this progress when we talk about recharge wells. We actually have a, you know, there was a sponsor who was willing to pay half the price. And the Rotary Clubs are willing to pay the other half. And we wanted to the idea is to do this on the roads. Now, we've got the water table mapped out now across the city. Metro Water has got... Uh, monitoring wells, like 200 odd monitoring wells. So we know the water table in different parts of the city. So wherever there's a low water table, if we when we put a recharge well on the road, it improves the water table in that area. Right. Second thing is do it in a place where it is low lying and where there's flooding and there's inundation happening. So it prevents flooding. 
Then the runoff water, we said there's 1400 ml of rainfall. Where is it going? Catch the runoff water too. Uh, we can't do it now because the water table is very high after these rains. We're going to wait for summer. And we have a plan to do multiple recharge wells across the city based on the sponsor, which is willing to pay for the half the price. And Rotary has got what is known as a, a grant available for such schemes. And we keep it going. And clubs are willing to pay the other half. We actually have the money, but it's not, we can't right away implement it now. Uh, more than that, you know, last you were not there the last session. Uh, Mr. Shekhar Raghun was saying, how do we get every apartment in, you know, those areas where the water table is higher, right? Better, that is. How do I get those people to see that in each and in every single apartment, if let's say I've got one acre, you know, as land area in an apartment area, how do I have, let's say, say four or five dug wells? If we did that, you know what happens, therefore, to mitigate floods and also to see that we, uh, you know, it also means that we have to draw water. That is, it has to be a live well. It's not exactly. like you just, yeah, yeah. So it's like it's a fact. I will keep this pulling in, I will keep drawing it. You know, it's like that. There's so much of metro water available now. People are not drawing water from the ground. No, I said, the point I am asking you is, you are saying that uh, at the, in the common, whatever city-owned areas, you will try and see how such uh, dug wells can be done. The question I am asking you is, is there something that Rotary can do with, with the, I mean, just to educate, sensitize, get every apartment, uh, you know, maybe the kids there or whatever, to see that a campaign of, for one acre, five dug wells is started. In, I mean, micro zones. Last time, our uh, 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 Sripati was saying that two or three areas within, uh, you know, within the heart of the city, uh, between these two rivers, they need it. I mean, uh, you know, that you can do something like that there. Mr. Raghun was also there last time saying the same thing. Uh, I don't know if you were there, Ram, last time. Uh, when uh, when uh, when uh, Mr. Shekhar Sher Raghun was saying that, Ram Shankar, you were there. Uh, I was not there. In the, You're not there. Okay. I'm well aware of uh, Mr. Shekhar Raghun's solution for uh, this. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Good, so, Mr. Shekhar Raghun. Just to give you a direct example, there's an university campus which is now being mapped out as to a complete holistic water solution. It's not just about fixing aerators in the hostels and the college campus, but including recharge wells, including harvesting rainwater, okay. and water from it. All seven solutions, right? Yes. Absolutely. Okay, one thing I must say here is we, this, these recharge wells are dug to about 10 to 15 feet. Normally, the rainwater harvesting from Jeralta's time, we've been hearing about rainwater harvesting. But that's like five, six feet. That's clay and that's silt on top. The strata, if you see, you've got to hit the sandy layer. Then only it goes and water fills the aquifer. Otherwise, it doesn't. It goes into the Nala, it goes into the Kuwam, it goes into the seas. Sure. So these recharge wells, if you can see the little diagram, it's like 10 to 15 feet. That's why we can't do it now. If we dig now, the water, we can't keep bailing out water. We'll wait a bit and definitely do this across the city. This is like where Jalit, you can see the little picture on the left where there's flooding after a rain this was. Now the flooding will re get reduced and recharge also happens and yeah. uh, water table. What? Yeah, there was 25 feet, there's more than 25 feet of the water table. Have you set any numbers as targets go for 2022? 1,000 is a very ambitious target, but we're going to tackle it 100 at a time. 100 of? 100 recharge wells at a time. At a time is, uh, you're saying, of a, uh, in a time frame of? Well, like I said, we can't do it now. We'll start in March when things are better and the water table depletes. Right. Like, it's not feasible to do it right now, you know, searching for areas where water table is too low across the city. Water table, my own well has got three feet uh, water right now, which was 16 feet before. So why why indulge in that exercise of trying to dig and then find there's water and then trying to bail it out? Yeah. And, uh, execution, uh, there's no bandwidth challenge on execution of uh, oh, many wells. Well, we took it to cooperation. The deputy commissioner has signed off on it. The commissioner has signed off on it. He'll write to the 15 zones, the AEs, saying, please cooperate with Rotary. There's electricity, there's water, there's sewage, there's uh, networking cable, there's all sorts of things. We can't dabble in that. So the, like what I just showed you here, the AE was there saying, hey, what a wonderful project. I'll make sure you guys don't look out. That's my job. And he took care of everything. Uh, Shekhar Raghavan's team, Ram's team came here, dug, Put the well together, did all the concrete working, and uh, just moved on. That's it. There's a little. BK, BK, what do we, what do we do to learn from Chennai, from all their work there, and the, from the AEs of the of the city? No, operation is very good. It's just that they flooded with work, hard to access. 
they love youngsters who have come through the ranks and they're like uh, you know officers they're deputy commissioners they love it they're willing to cooperate they're willing to help just that they're too busy yeah well, you see this is what i told you hariran that we have to approach bwc a joint approach already bwcsb is doing this uh, rainwater pits all along the drains there's yeah, a lesson here from what yeah they are done in bangalore a lot of uh, city is feeding upon the other and learning yeah. from each other's uh, strengths that will help that's right but uh, uh, and ram have been doing it for so long in the space that they've been working they're brilliant i mean he's called the rain man of chennai for a reason sure that is uh, yeah so we got to work with professionals like them rather than trying to reinvent them. Yeah. Oh, uh, Mr. Chandrasekhar, you had to say something. So we are at seven or three. I was thinking in the next ten minutes, okay. how do you Actually, guide with such leaders like you? How do you guide the you know the quantifying of a certain target of saving that is citizen-led as action goals? I have a little and, chart which I'd like to show. Please, please, uh, which can be extrapolated to that quickly. Okay. Like, so this is a patented product where we're not talking about rainwater harvesting any longer harnessing 60 days it rains in chennai during this it's it's like a see water hugs the periphery of a pipe sure 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 still filter in this little gadget here which you fix okay. into the pipe the muddy water the first flush goes into the ground the good good water good. piped out to your underground yeah. sump so 60 days your water independent now ram will show you in rain center where he has done it with just plain pipes stand sure. pipe and the overflow going into your into the underground sump there's vizi which is one step better it's double the cost uh, which aerates the water too amazing sure. concept no water required from any that no achit nay the, yeah. the problem is this you know very often what happens to all of us is we love being experts so we get into the expertise part of it but more than half the problem is the social engineering and the acceptance that we need to get in people's minds so i am asking is there a way now prem was saying something in the beginning of this conversation i am saying to myself if there is a way of our being able to set say this 1000 crores as a number i mean you know it's an exciting it's an intriguing number if not exciting and then we say there are these are the ways that we try to set to see that we are able to achieve that which means of course like all of you have said today education clearly it comes from education but beyond education what is it that we can do to also keep in mind that we must be able to secure some number with sub targets being owned by other sub groups action groups or whatever you call them and then they achieve it for us how do we do that anyone who can speak or ajit maybe you want to share your thoughts first uh, well okay let me quickly wrap this up education like you know shripati wanted me to talk about this but your paucity of time it's an entire subject by itself we did a three month program webinars seminars knowledge sharing where we mentor the kids uh they gave 200 of those kids actually gave videos two minute videos how we taught them how to make a video then we gave them money to prototype uh it was a competition because 200 became 64 64 became 16 finally eight winners got were our water ambassadors uh given laptops and uh, android tablets but they actually created solutions and gave us after this series of knowledge sharing sessions we did want to do it across a larger platform maybe another time we can talk about it like i said it's a big subject by itself but when you do awareness when you do implementation side by side you have to do education as well even for the adults not just kids sanitary not about saving water but swachh bharat is so popular what a fantastic measure to prevent open defecation but like in medical terms it's about operation successful when the patient died these we've got these solutions where you have ready made panels bolt it one day the toilet is ready you have even the same well rings stack them one on top of the other punch a hole for door put a slab on top the toilet is ready but the septic tank is these three rings which go into the ground the fecal matter permeates through gets into the water and then the entire village where you prevent open defecation but it's cholera diphtheria malaria where the entire village then spends it earnings instead of spending it on a one meal a day it's going on healthcare so vermification is what there are lots of low cost solutions some of them we offer help rotary does a lot of toilets to prevent open defecation i've done So it's about twelve thousand rupees come from the government like clockwork in three installments. Air water generators. I want to touch on this one subject. Uh, we've all got these RO plants in our homes. Twenty liters model costing twenty twenty five thousand rupees. It weighs fifty liters. Fifty liters by itself is nothing much, but there are hundred thousand such units there. You're talking fifty lakhs a day, every day of your lives. 
Unfortunately, this some people use this water by throwing it on the plants. That plant needs only 0.1 LPM. What are you doing throwing 50 liters on it? Or you might just use it for something or other. Majority of it is just run off and it's wasted. So there is technology available. I know IIT incubated some of these like Tirtha, Aeronero, uh, Vayu Gel. There are lots of players in the market. So we've been propagating this where zero wastage and you don't need a water source. You're not, you don't need bovine. When there's a drought, what do you do? No drinking water. This actually affects moisture air. Uh, well, the condenser coils, the runoff water is captured and you treat it and drink it. It's a bit more expensive, but it's a wonderful cost. For sure. It's okay. This is, we have also uh, hybrid models are available for larger. We've done it for a village. We've done it for a school in Kodambakam was a blue dot sponsored project, 3000 liters per day. The village was 8,000 liters per day. It's possible to enhance the capacity and do more. Uh, this here is the slide I wanted to show as an activity chart, which lists everything that you've spoken about. What is the activity? What is the description? The cost for it? Remarks. We should extrapolate this, put another column about impact, about when you quantify it, what is the impact, what is the saving, what is your target, and what is your goal. It's everything we spoke about. The last two I didn't speak about because water use, we all know we need to reuse. Two-thirds of the water is actually flushing and gardening. And it's only one third, which is your wash basin and showers. So if you can recycle and reuse just flushing and gardening, then you're water independent and you only need, if you need 1000 liters, you suddenly need only 300 liters for one time. Anyone else who wants to speak and tell us about how we can set sub targets and a big target for Chennai with citizen led action only. Solutions, we don't want experts. They put us to sleep because we all know solutions. One uh, thing that I would like to say is, uh, you know, um, work with people who are like-minded and who come to us first as, I mean, you can do this in phases. Begin the project. That is how, you know, Rain Center actually operates where people actually come to us. We don't go and tell people to Harvest ring. We do that, but that's uh, more of a low-key kind of a thing. We don't do uh, marketing of rainwater harvesting per se. So those who come to us, they're already sold on the idea. So similarly, you know, you begin with those people, and then you take the whole solution. In fact, uh, uh, very glad to see a whole uh, um, basket of solutions from Rotary Ajit. So um, it'll be wonderful to you know take these solutions to them and then start what you're saying is we must have more pull and not push kind of strategies yeah that is what uh, means. And therefore what happens we messaging is such that we get people to be sold on the idea before they even come to us correct i mean like once they are sold on one idea I got that. When they are sold on we can do another one sure so, sure. I feel like implementing many of these. In fact, I feel that I'm, I have not implemented many of the solutions. See, so, see you you know the very uh, you know delicate kind of position that an ICCW or a WOW or any of these associations uh, and organizations like ours are holding. That is, we are not here in the business of business, right? Like Ajit Nair very lovely, very nicely said, business is boring. We don't want to be there. We got past that, right? Now, the question to all of us, therefore, is, there are solution providers on one side. There are solution seekers on the other side. Solution seekers have deep distrust of solution providers. That also we know. Many solution providers have failed also for whatever reasons. And they've given the technology a bad name by with bad implementation. You know that also, Ron. You know, you may be an exception, but there are many people like that who have done that. So how do we make this bridge between seekers and providers? And how do we also keep in mind that we must have something that is measured, verified, and achieved as citizens go in one year. So Ajit, can you stop yeah. the screen? Sorry, yes. yeah, let me cut that yes. out. Yes. See, yes. For us, what happens in Rotary is we've got a ready army of Rotarians readily available to implement solutions. Yeah. That is why we call you. Solutions and guide them and melt them and mentor them. So the individual clubs and the individual Rotary, we don't, I don't implement solutions as a district chairman. It is the individual clubs and the Rotarians who implement solutions. Okay, okay. It's like it's a behavioral pattern change. It will take time. We have Mr. Yubi Kerao, uh, you know, raising his hands. I don't know if, uh, yes. Yes, you want to share something. Yeah, uh, quickly two things. Uh, embassy apartments uh, behind Global Hospital in Pirumbakam, about 1,500 apartments. Uh, they have taken something like about one and a half years of debate in installing uh, smart meters. Um, <clears throat> today they have installed, 
I'll try and figure out if they can share the case study, what happened to insta after installing the start smart meters, individual apartments, how has the com uh, consumption uh, you know, uh, come down or whatever. So this is one thing where we can uh, talk about a very, very specific case study where smart meters have been installed. This is one. Um, by the next meeting, I'll try and see if I can get them or to share the case study. Um, the second one is I live in Madipakam. Uh, my house is a water positive home um, by virtue of rainwater harvesting uh, for uh, nearly 13 years. Now, I recently talked to the uh, Welfare Association of our uh, colony. There are 20 streets, about 400 sites, a mixture of individual houses and uh, apartments. And uh, I have taken up with one of the office bearers the idea of uh, rainwater harvesting. Uh, in uh, each of the sites. Is there some way where we can take uh, help in terms of providing very specific uh, solutions uh, and assistance to this welfare association? I can move the subject and see in this 20 streets, whether we can make uh, in a span of, let us say six months time, uh, whether the majority of the uh, 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 sites can actually get into rainwater harvesting in a working model. So these are the two things I want to leave the thought. And I, I look forward to hearing from you and see how we can take it further. Excellent, Krishna. Lovely action points. I'm sure both Ajay, Ramshankar, ICCW itself will be very happy to, you know, sort of come in and... would like to coordinate this if you Lovely. are interested in doing that. Wonderful. Wonderful action point. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, I, I believe uh, uh, Kirti Shah would say, uh, say something. No, it will be very you... nice if he is willing to speak. I don't know. Uh, Kirti Bhai, are you there? I think he's there. Uh, he's there. He's he's last showing up. He, he was not he's us. Uh, so, showing up. Yeah, he's showing up. Uh, we have uh, Mr. Ram Kumar, uh, ex IIT alumni. Uh, so you would like to share something quickly? Yeah, I think. I, I think. Uh, very good evening, Mr. Triva. Very good evening. I hope uh, I am audible. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I've been. Uh, uh, Doing a lot of practical, very cost-effective rainwater implementation. Uh, yes, a lot of success with Indian oil also for the last more than 20, 22 years. Uh, definitely, it will be my pleasure to share very simple models. I feel rainwater harvesting is the cheapest thing to do by allowing water to go to the very easily. This, no structure is required. This is what I've been practicing. In fact, uh, maybe you want some solutions. I can also share my thoughts. I can share my uh, in fact, recently one of the one of the corporate buildings uh, in the Nogumbaka High Road, we where water logging was there with simple rainwater harvesting, uh, we could uh, there was no water logging, and the tube tankers were stopped, and the tubal quality water is also substantially improved. I can suggest very simple solutions. In fact, I have got the I got the, con I got the concept of uh, rain harvesting stormwater drain itself. So graded gravel pits within the stormwater drain, which are played very effectively. At low right. cost, very safe. I think somebody was wanting to talk something. Yeah, yeah. No, I, this is Hadir in here. Mr. Ramkumar, you know, uh, more than solutions, like our UV Krishna did now, yeah. can you tell us of some particular uh, area, micro zone, some locality of yours or whatever, where uh, some interventions can be brought by this combination of leaders here of ICCW, the Rotary, the Indian Plumbing Association. Can you tell us of one such community or a local zone or something like that? I'll do that. Uh, you know, what, what I'm suggesting is, uh, even I have uh, sent a message to Corporation Commissioner. In fact, the entire Chennai, Chennai city was flooded. One of the suggestions what I've given is, uh, see, the stormwater drain itself can be utilized with graded gravel pits so that the water gets... You know, water goes into the ground. I agree. That is yeah, one I simple agree. solution. See, see, I agree. And then I the Kamakodi Nagar, where I'm staying now. So one, one example would be we can take up with the corporation at, at any zone. And Kamakodi Nagar, where I'm staying, is an example where we could do a lot of work. What I believe, Ram Kumar, yeah. yes, Ram Kumar, what I believe is, since we have a large group uh, getting created on a every a fortnightly basis now, Okay. Uh, we would, uh, you know, directly get into formation of such action groups, specific action groups, like okay. what uh, Ms. Usha Kini was saying. Let us form uh, okay. specific action groups instead of uh, general 
awareness and so on. Let us say, Correct. suppose green water harvesting, do we have a group? We should have a group. Yes. Do we Correct. have a water conservation group like uh, what Mr. Ajit Nair is trying to do on a rotary platform? Let, uh, let us try something on the rotary side first. And probably he might uh, guide us to do something on the apartment side also. So okay. let us try and form these kind of groups now. Okay. With, you know, Ram Shankar also playing a major role and yourself uh, from the corporate side. Corporate side should, uh, you know, help uh, uh, develop this movement to a very long, uh, very big movement so that many things can happen. So thank you for your time and uh, uh, your thoughts. We will again uh, set up a separate call with you on several aspects of rainwater harvesting that you are thinking and we will try and do something quickly. Uh, Dr. Hari, do you have any final thoughts? We are at 718. Should close. Uh, uh, Rajesh Ramakrishnan, uh, I'm giving it a good shot. Do you want to speak right now? Uh, would you, since Keetiba is not around or he's not willing to uh, open his audio. Rajesh? Rajesh is not speaking. <laughs> Raja is there. Yeah, I know. good morning, uh, Raj. Good morning to you. Uh, well, you're coming now. Yeah, yeah we, we, okay, I'll, I'll put it like this to you, uh, Sripati. I think you're on the right track. I, it was very nice to have someone like Ajit who is rooted in common sense, high on communication. The, the films are powerful that we have to steal those films or, you know, take those films from him, use it in Bangalore, use it everywhere. The other I'm seeing is that what Krishna said we have to have more of it. If Krishna's, I mean, the idea of, you know, one subzone that uh, you all invade, uh, I mean, you know, between uh, between Ram, Ajit and uh, uh, Sripati, you must invade it with your institutions and see that you're, see, monies have to be covered, costs have to be paid for, all that is fine and you and Krishna has been practicing for 40 years. So he will be able to ensure that those things happen. The third thing I'm seeing is this, uh, Sripati. We must have people who have implemented to come and tell their story. Like uh, Krishna said that he will get this other person uh, on IoT meters. I, I think uh, uh, even the, our Mr. Nandkumar had said last time that he will want to get somebody. As long as, I mean, the ground rules are kept, we don't want companies to be promoted. We want the cost to be promoted. I think all of us agree on that. So as long as that is kept, I think it'd be good. These are the only three elements that come to my mind, Sri Anyone else who wants to speak, have something which we had be... uh, one more one more person who wanted to uh, bring in his clientele. Uh, you might have heard about We Got Solutions. Yes, yes. So he wanted to bring his clientele and uh, speak something on what he has. That's what I said. Uh, See, the problem is we can't promote a company. Now, yeah. I, I can tell for every one person you say who is uh, who says that this company is good, I can find you four people who say that company is bad. See, we can't take company names. In fact, Chandra knows. I keep telling them, you come, when we come here, we, we, we wear another uh, hat. You know, talking of non-existent hats that Ajit was speaking about. We come, here, hat. we come here with a public purpose. We don't come here and say, my company, please write to me. This is my mail ID. Thank you. So how do we do that? That is what it's about. So if, if let's say the company you mentioned, he's willing to come. I know Abhilash. I know him from uh, 2015. When he started, when he had not even done his first 20 apartments, he came to me, right? And then when his startup was happening in terms of funding also, he came to me. Now, my, I, I can tell you there are seven to eight companies like his who are giving better cost today than he is doing. Since it's a, a closed meeting, I'm telling you. So, the idea is not to promote a single company. The idea is to see that they come and inspire the solution seekers. And, and at WOW or at uh, ICCW and all of us, what do we want? End of the year, we are able to tell the government, look, I say, we have managed to do 1,000 crore liters and we give a check like IPA does. We give a check to the city, 1,000 crore liters paid, you know. That is what we must be able to do. That's a dramatic thing that we can, if we can do that. And then they will listen to us. Yeah. Then the yeah. longer step starts. See, in all these journeys, there is no destination. There is no such thing as we one it, it's over, and we go and have uh, whatever we want. There's no celebration at all. Because it's all moving targets. They keep shifting. That's the whole problem with it. That's what we enjoy doing, I guess. No. To travel as a better than to arrive, as they say. Yes, Raj? Hari, this is citizen-led government action for maximum impact, OK? And like Sripati said, these working groups in different parts of Chennai, if you can all work together, 
and show the impact, monitor, measure, and tell the government like Hari is saying. And then the government will be ashamed to saying, hey, these citizens are leading us. What are we doing here with their tax money? So let us do something. So then the impact will be replicated everywhere and government will take some real initiatives, put some real money there. So these are the things I'm so happy to see so many wonderful groups doing great things. But again, if we all work together, the impact is beautiful. And the rain center of uh, Ram Shankar that he was talking about, I know it since 2002, three when my friend from yeah. Minneapolis was involved in that, Ramakrishnan. So these are the things we can do, but we have to make sure every citizen adopts it and our city becomes you know, water efficient, green, and uh, prevent flooding, all those things, which problems which we can easily avoid, we should avoid. Thank you. So quickly sum up, uh, Dr. Hari, uh, the, the educational institutions is what we are trying to put in our efforts and uh, uh, working with Stella Maris College, like uh, what uh, Mr. UBK Rao had mentioned, and uh, collation of several uh, best practices or uh, collation of several implemented ideas, like what Mr. Joseph was mentioning, we'll try and do that. Yeah, these are some of the actions that we're trying to develop in the next fortnight. Uh, we said seven solutions and seven ways of doing it and all that. This, these are some of the ways that we are going to put ourselves into. And I would uh, request every one of you to contribute on whatever you have uh, suggested. Suppose, you know, uh, Mr. Chandra had said that he will put in some e-books. Let us uh, find out how these e-books are uh, going to be available for school kids. And uh, like Usha Kini mentioned, we will form the action groups for specific groups. We will start up, uh, uh, we will try and integrate all that into the next uh, few days that we are getting into for the next uh, action uh, action three forum and uh, we have spoken about the tap regulation the tap regulation that uh, ajit had mentioned let us find out how that is going to be applicable how that is going to be popularized and he was talking about the awareness posters also uh, not only the printed but also the painted ones on the walls and how this could be done uh, much better. And we are uh, heading towards the World Water Day on March 22nd. Uh, hopefully in the next uh, couple of action forums, we will get to work on this as a World Water Day. Wow, action forum should be uh, you know, taken up in a very big way during our uh, World Water Day in this year, March 22nd, and see uh, how we can make a greater impact during that time. And of course, aerators has been a, a very pet subject for uh, many of us. Let us try and uh, form those kind of, uh, you know, case examples like uh, UVK Rao was mentioning. Let us take up 20 streets, not only for uh, RWH recharge, but also for these kind of aerators and making how this, the uh, what do you say, the uh, intention of buying it and putting it and how do we really, really put this chain into uh, uh, perspective. Instead of people saying, I don't know what to do with this. I don't have any incentive and all that. Let us find out a way to do that. So these are some of the things which I uh, thought uh, are some of the actions that we are going to do in the coming months. Uh, in addition to whatever we have already spoken uh, with Mr. Saravanan, Mr. Ashok Natarajan and uh, Professor Janakarajan, we will try and uh, you know summarize all this in a way that we are able to get, get out uh, with some actions in the coming days, not uh, weeks, coming days. So with that, I would uh, stop here and uh, uh, thank everyone who have taken up time uh, Mr. Ram Shankar, uh, Prem, uh, uh, Mr. Raj, Bushar, and uh, Suresh Pai, Mr. Ram Kumar, Mr. Chandra. Again, thank you all for joining us. Prakash Murthy, who has been a patient listener, I wanted him to speak. Probably next time he will uh, say something about Kirti Shah. I don't know why he couldn't uh, speak. Uh, probably if he comes next time, he will say something. Mr. Ajit, for, for your contributions on your initiatives, uh, we would look forward to working with you on a, you know, uh, actionable item in probably the apartments. So let us start with the apartment group. Let us create an apartment group as an action group to see how these aerators are more popularized. Uh, forget about who says, uh, I want this, I don't want that, I, I don't have money and all that. Let's break that chain and see how this is uh, popularized on its own. And uh, we also mentioned, you know, we don't want to sell anything or we don't want to promote things. Ram, was, uh, Ram Shankar was mentioning, they have to come to us. They have to see the uh, benefit. They have to see the value in whatever we are trying to do. So that way we will try and uh, uh, you know, take this as a movement.
probably by the World Water Day, we will be having good results to uh, showcase, which is one of the talking points that we have today, that government should recognize us, government should see the value in us, in this group, in this uh, ever expanding group, so that they come to us. Uh, they have not, you know, they, they should, uh, you know, see that this group is able to do this, why should we not? So that's how we are trying to project uh, our engagements, our initiatives. Let us do that. Thank you once again for your uh, time. Have a good uh, evening. If you have any parting uh, remarks for this session, Dr. Absolutely Hari. Absolutely amazing capture. Brilliant capture. You know? Thank you. Thank you for your time, uh, Suresh Pai, Mr. Uh, Rao, you care out, Mr. Nilesh. Uh, Mr. Ram Kumar and everyone, Mr. Nanda Kumar. Uh, good evening. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Sir. Yeah, uh, good evening. Can I? Uh, yeah. uh, Sridhar here from Bangalore. Yes, please. Uh, is it audible, sir? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Your good name? Sridhar. Yeah. Uh, I'm Sridhar from Bangalore. I'm working in ISRO. Yeah. Um, actually, Dr. Narsimra from Tuchi given the link actually to join. I could join oh. later, uh, but last part I heard that uh, uh, you wanted someone to uh, listen from the actually practically implemented uh, rainwater harvesting. Yeah. Uh, you, you yeah, actually in my house itself. Uh, yeah, no, three and a half years already we have constructed and we have implemented a lot of things in our house. Sure, and sure, rainwater sure. harvesting is one of such... Uh, eco-friendly aspects and uh, generated some data of our house so water consumption Wonderful. requirements all Wonderful. Things, and, we will speak uh, to you uh, made a... I, you know, I understand what you're saying yeah. we have quite a few people like you who, who are water champions we will yeah. uh, we will speak to you yes, sir. i'm sure your number is there somewhere on the yeah. other on your mail id what we will do is we will speak to you yeah, and yeah, see yeah. how we can you know configure that for a bangalore story or whatever you heard all the others we need yes, stories sir. like yours we are all the people who will inspire other people to do yes yeah. Thanks yeah, for being yeah, here. Exactly. Thanks.